left Matamata and now we are going to Jerba. Sometimes you have to change your plans a little bit, especially when you don't have enough time to do everything you would like to do. So Mas is driving another two hours and a half to get us to Jerba tonight. So We're going to get the boat. Finally, we waited an hour. We don't know if we Oh, get, there's another we line. We don't know if we get on the boat. Are you serious? Yeah. That one was a checkpoint. This is the boat. Uh, and the boat is leaving, so I think we're not gonna get the boat again. Oh my gosh, we just waited an hour for a checkpoint. And the boat is full. There is also a bridge, but from where we were, it was an extra 70 kilometers to get there. So we decided to go this way, but it wasn't a good idea. And the funny thing is we don't even know when we get there, if we have the Airbnb. Our host is not responding. The guy didn't respond, so we book it, but we are not yet. So me, maybe we get there, and we don't have a location. Maybe house. we go look for a hotel. So we are gonna sleep in the car tonight, no, all together, no, nice not. and cozy, la la la. <laughs> Luckily, there's another boat that arrived, so we didn't have to wait too long now. You just have to pay. How much are we paying, Mas? Less than a dinar. 80 cent. <laughs> okay, this is a very short ride. I am gonna calculate how much time it is. Mas, how are you feeling? We still don't know if we have a place to stay. Almost time to go. So our Airbnb host never responded. We arrived on the island and we had to cancel our stay there because we had no communication. So you have to call Airbnb and they will help you out through that, right? Now we're looking for a hotel because we gave up on Airbnb because we don't trust that we're gonna find a place available. Fingers crossed, the first hotel that we put on our GPS is the good one so we can find a place to stay. found the mini golf on the beach and we found a double hole which they can't get in on either side oh, and Luca is the judge oh. <laughs> I think we're gonna be here for a little while yeah sure I got this oh, oh. <laughs> We are in Jeffa. So we don't have much time here, but there was one thing we really wanted to see. 
which is not the traditional things of the place, but more of something artistic. It's called Jirba Hood. Yeah. And this was a neighborhood called Eriad. 2014, they call all the artists to make street art. Street art. And most they decorate the wall and everything. We're gonna go around and check it out. And discover. Just so you know. Oh, I gotta escape from the police! Ah. Oh. Oh. No. Ah. 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 Oh, it's close. <laughs> you do doing it too. Sorry, they arrest us. <laughs> are getting ruined but we've noticed that there's the dates at the bottom of the paintings and some are more recent so I guess this is an ongoing project. People keep on coming here. You know? creative out of a boring road by having street art everywhere. cool if in every town in the world we did something like this it would be so much more colorful and just put you in a better mood and there would be free art because you could just walk around and just enjoy the art this is the graffiti place although that's not all graffiti oh here we are visiting their jerba hood Okay. With all the beautiful art that was made. It's very nice. I'm a painting. <laughs> hey guys, the weather is really getting pretty bad here. It's really windy. So we can't really walk around that much. We are in the souk area. We are trying to find a present for Gazi. It's his birthday. We're missing one ah, guy. See, you're sleeping right now, but you'll never figure it out. Actually, probably in this moment you're not sleeping because well the video already came out by now. But you're probably not sleeping, but anyway, while well, we're doing this video in this moment right now, you are sleeping. <laughs> so we are trying to find one more I thing. I told you we would have something. <laughs> and there's a bunch of shops, so in the suitcase. <laughs> <laughs> so here we are. We're trying to buy him a little chess set. Begging for a chess. Travel version. And this is the covered souk. <gasps> Seems to be closed all the way, all everywhere. I don't think he wants a shirt.
we can't find them. <laughs> I'm afraid if we go too far, we're gonna get lost. Like in every other place where there's a souk, they, they kind of go everywhere, and it's so easy to get lost. <laughs> It's windy. There is people actually learning kite surfing in the water. So unfortunately, we the only thing we can't really control is the weather, and uh, we weren't very lucky with Jerba and the weather here. Apparently, it's a very beautiful island, especially in the summer. There's palm trees on the beach, as you can see, and the beaches and the water. From what we've been told, is amazing. We haven't been able to show you this. We just show you the little thing we get are able to see in Jerba, which is crossing by boat, visiting Jerba Hood, which was very, very nice to see. Now we're gonna show you how we cross the bridge to get off of Jerba to go on our next stop. Yes, because there is a uh, two ways to get here. The long way, which is by boat, because you have to wait between one, two, and 12, people have waited 12 hours in the summer to get on. Or you can take the bridge, which is a little bit out of the way, depending where you're coming from. But there's no wait to go on the bridge. And so on our way off, we are not gonna wait for the boat, but we're gonna drive off. So now we're gonna show you another thing you can do in Jerba, which is cross the bridge. But this is teach you that you have to accept any weather that you find. And the cool thing is, even when it's the weather you think, in your opinion, there's nothing, not, nothing to do. There's other people, they need doing... this weather because they do <laughs> kite surfing. So there's always something to do. So it depends on the perspective, guys, all the time. This is our version of Jerba, which is not the typical version that you'll see in every other video on YouTube. But this is how we experienced it, and we had fun anyway. Okay, let's go to the bridge. This bridge dates back to the Roman Empire, so it's been here for a while. Fuck the same. Roman bridge. Roman bridge. So you can see the beautiful view this morning. <laughs> I think this is an aqueduct too. need a cheap gas station you can find them all on the way no guys there is only the gas station because there is nothing else yes and these are this gas comes from Libya and or Algeria and it's much cheaper than the regular one definitely much but cheaper. we didn't try it because the problem is you are in the middle of the desert it's windy so when they pour the gas inside you get sand to it so we didn't try that. <laughs> and I don't think this this car can go to sand with the sand. No, I don't think so. But maybe we can try because we are in the desert. Maybe this one goes with the sand. What do you think? Probably not. <laughs> <laughs> this is, look, guys, there is nothing else. Yeah, no options other than the cheap gas station. 